What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a great Saturday. So we always talk about features on the Tundra. It uh, doesn't matter which trim level you have. We always talk about features on the Tundra that we like and we dislike. And we've gone into detail about some of the stuff we would like to see on the next generation and everything like that. And I was pleasantly surprised when I got into the Platinum Tundra because there were some things on the Platinum that I wasn't expecting uh, that I turned out to really like. For instance, um, you have the auto dimming mirror which comes on other models, it's not just the uh, the Platinum, but the Platinum comes with auto dimming side view mirrors, which is huge. Um, it has LED turn signals in each mirror, which is also um, awesome, especially for the cars next to you. They know when you're trying to get over. It is a big vehicle, there are some blind spots and everything like that. So there are a lot of features that are in this truck that I absolutely love. But when it comes to Tundras in general, not just this Tundra, the Platinum, um, but you know, SR all the way up to 1794 TRD Pro Platinum, everything like that. There is one feature that they really need to work on, whether it be the next generation or the next model year, and that is the backup camera. It's not the best backup camera in the world. It does the job, and after you've had the truck for a while, you definitely get used to it. But there is one specific thing that I cannot get used to, and I know you guys will agree with me. I don't know how, how much I could show you right now because the sun isn't exactly where it needs to be to show you, but it's the glare, so check this out. All right, so the sun is directly above us right now, so you actually have a pretty decent shot of the screen. I don't know how it'll come out on camera, but I could see it clearly. Um, the problem is, is like when you're coming home from work, depending on what time you get out of work and everything, when you're trying to back into your driveway or back out of a parking spot or anything like that, when you put the truck in reverse, you get a, mi right there you're hearing my backup alarm because I'm so close to my fence, but right here you just, you really can't see when the sun is hitting this screen a certain way. It's actually uh, very annoying. And that is why you should always look behind you. Don't depend on technology, but the glare that comes across this screen in certain, um, you know, wherever the sun is at certain points of the day is kind of annoying. Now there actually is a reason I made the video on the glare today versus other days. I actually had an incident yesterday uh, where I almost ended up hitting my garbage can. So it was garbage day yesterday. It looked like one of my neighbors, I'm guessing, maybe the mailman, I don't know, pulled the garbage can into my driveway, up my driveway, but left it in the middle. Now I normally back right into this thing uh, because of the glare. I wasn't able to see the garbage can and that's why I always say to you guys make sure you still check your side mirrors and still turn around never depend on technology but overall the glare was so bad on that center screen I couldn't see anything at all especially that garbage can as I started getting closer to the garbage can I started to hear my blind spot monitoring start to or excuse me not my blind spot monitor my parking sensors start to freak out a little bit and that made me stop and look and, and thankfully I trusted those parking sensors because I didn't end up hitting the garbage can at all uh, but it was very close to the fence where I kind of just thought ah, it's probably just the fence because literally it was zero visibility on this center screen so that's one thing they should do in either like I said the next generation Tundra uh, you know or next year or whatever just give the screen a little bit of a different tilt the way it's tilted is it kind of just asks for that sun glare to hit it at certain times of the day where you just can't see it and it's not just when you're using your backup camera uh, when the sun is in certain you know part wherever it is in the sky at certain points of the day and you're driving down the road you really can't see what station you're on or anything going on on the screen if you're using navigation it's just that angle and it's not just the tundra i've seen this in other toyotas where the angle it's just not good when it comes to glare but let me know if glare has ever caused you to almost hit something like me yesterday or if you are old school and you don't even look at the backup camera and you just use your mirrors but yes definitely very important to still do the old school looking behind you to make sure you're not going to hit anything one thing that's crazy about these trucks is when you look behind you in this one at least um, you really can't see anything that's why the backup camera is so great and it's awesome that they offer it in all the different trim levels but they got to work on that glare so let me know what you think twitter and instagram at 1234 1234 gmail.com guys have a great day